Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is the Orb Gaming Retro Pocket with LCD screen. Um, again, found this on um, uh, Amazon. Don't know what it's like, but I, to what I did like about it, before we even start, before we even get into it, is I quite like the fact that it looked a bit like an old Watchman, you know, the ones you used to get from Nintendo, um, you know, with the old Donkey Kongs on I like the style of it. Um, problem is, it's in full-on frustration um, packaging, so I had to record this before I even started anything else. So, anyway, um, there's a little preview of the uh, games that are going to be on there. Sorry about the light. So, uh, and the device itself, reset volume, LCD screen, it's nice and small, um, and it's Orb Gaming that's created this. So, um, thumbs up brand. Yeah. UK, actually, interesting enough. Brought to you by Thumbs Up, in Rice Lip. Interesting. So, thumbs up UK. Um, thumbs up UK dot com. I'll have a little look at that actually later because I'm going to get interested to see how that uh, actually actually uh, works out. I'm just having a look over here. Still made in China, but uh, but uh, thumbs up gaming UK. So, um, I might look at that one. That might be interesting. So, anyway, so all on frustration packaging. So, I'll have to get the scissors out. Um, but I'll come back to you once I've got the scissors out. We'll have a quick spin around of the actual device. So, but uh, so far, I, I like the style. I like the styling. I like the way it looks. Anyway, um, back in a second. Okay, packaging is moved. Um, and so, we're ready to have a little look. So, we've got the device itself. Uh, I quite like the device, actually. I have to admit, it's. Uh, do you know what it does? It feels a bit like a Watchman from the touch of the feel of the buttons. It does actually feel because they're kind of them rubbery keys that you get. So they're not solid; they're rubberized, which I think is quite nice. I like the feel of that actually. Um, back of the device. Thumbs up there. No, no for small children. Under three. Mm, top of the device. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of liking that so far. That, 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 that kind of. That kind of strikes me as something quite nice. Anyway, so, and then we've got the frustration packaging itself. And in there, I discovered, we have, if I can actually get it free, oh, it's taped down. That would, that would, I know, I've noticed that earlier, that would have been handy. It's taped down. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, stop. I'm going to have to stop it. Hang on, we'll stop it while I'm... Right, after a battle of life and death, I managed to actually remove the the, 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 the tape. And it wasn't really worth it, because it's, uh, well, it's just how to put the batteries in it, and how to do things with it, and how to turn it off and on if you get no picture. So it's like the, the overall sort of instructions. And then on the back, um, once you get through all the various different languages, we've got how to dispose of it. So, um, yeah, uh, the... the the battle between life and death and me and the, and, the, and the plastic there wasn't quite worth it. Oh, and it's Italian near the end. Oh, it's nice. It's very nice. So, anyway, yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to chuck some batteries into this. It takes um, three triple A's. So um, I'm going to throw some batteries at it. And once I've thrown some batteries at it, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fire it up and we'll have a look at the games. Hang on a sec. Hi. So right, okay, we're back now. Um, one thing I did notice though, when I opened the battery case, there was there was the uh, wrist strap in there. I thought that was quite nice actually. Um, but also, what I also have noticed is that this the this front here, this is uh, this unfortunately um, on the original Watchman's was was a metal um, inlay, and it's not. It's a plastic sticker on this, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, uh, but I suppose that would have added to the cost anyway. Right, so we've got our we've got our LCD screen, and we've got our controller. So. Um, when we're ready, I think we should just power it up and see what goes on. So let's let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. So there we go. There's our games. I assume we can just move through them. Okay. There's a hundred on here. Looks like there's uh, five per page. Be interested to see what they are. To be honest with you, thus far there's not been a name I recognise, and that's probably because I don't think I think this is being a more uh, a British device. They probably couldn't get the licensing for them. To be honest, so so and and also it doesn't sort of an import from Japan. So um, it'll be interesting to see what retro games are on here. I always love the word retro games when it comes to these kind of things. Oh gosh, there's more than a hundred games. 
And it said 100 games. Over 100 games. Oh, I lie. Over 100 games on the front of the cover. But I always like to see what, what they, they put into these things and see whether or not they're actually any good. 153 games. Bear versus Bald. How do I start that? There must be a start button there. Is that start? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now I've gone back. Let's see if I can do this with another hand. Let's see if I can do it. Let's start. Start game. Five lives. Let's see if I can do it with one hand again. What am I meant to do? No. Oh. No, it's kind of a bit Mario-esque. Ah, can't see. Oh, I've fallen the levels. I guess I must be trying to bonk into those guys. I'm guessing. It's a robust enough as a console, to be honest with you. It's not, it's not, it doesn't feel um, particularly poor. Um, however, as I say, I don't recognise the games thus far. Let's jump as well. Let's go back. Let's pause. I'm guessing this one is back. The menu. No, that's volume. At least it's got several levels of volume. Restart. Top button. That's just on and off. Oh dear. That's not a good sign. On and off. Right, let's have a look at Tank Wars. Right, let's see if we can play Tank Wars. Start Tank Wars. Yeah, they're all self-created by the looks of things. Oh, quite like a nice level of uh, of noise though there. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. That. I don't like the way they call them retro games though, because because it kind of, as a sort of collector of retro things, that sometimes I I I just find it a bit uh, frustrating to su su suggest that uh, they may be retro um, and they may not be. Um, it's it feels it feels a bit cheap sometimes to call them retro, just because they're on eight bit device doesn't make them retro. Um, let's have a little look at the agent. Uh, looks, do you know what? That looks quite impressive for what it is. Oh. I see you can quit out of it very easily on the title screen. Stage one. Right, stage one. I've got to shoot targets. Yeah. In fairness, though, no, you know, in absolute fairness to the game, that's not. The quality on that isn't too bad. Sorry about that. That was just me wanting to get a get a close up of it. But that's not too bad. I mean, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not awful. It's not. It, I mean, let's have a little look. Let's see what else we got on here. Raiden can't be Raiden. Maybe it is. I don't think it's the same Raiden. So slow down there with a little processor. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that this isn't too bad. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna play on for a little bit with a few other games, have a little play, and I'm gonna come back to you and show you some of the show, show, see if there's anything of there that uh, that that kind of puts me off. Um, it's not. It's retro in the sense that they're using an 8-bit processor, but I, I don't think I can. you can fairly call it retro. I mean, retro to me is something that's old and 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 uh, and, and and sort of you know it's old sort of kind of game that uh, that's sort of arcade like. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause for a moment and I'll come back and I'll we'll, we'll have a look at some of the other ones and see if there's anything even uh, see if there's anything interesting or I'll get a more better conclusion of the the overall style of the game. So I'm gonna pause for a second and I'll come back. Hi. So I'm back. I've been uh, having a good look around. Um, and I was trying to show you a few, few of the other games of interest. And funnily enough, the first one I'm going to show you is Stickman, the very first one. Stickman match. Because I actually thought it was quite good. 
Um, you, so you basically choose your character and what colour you want to be. Uh, I'll be that colour. Try it again. Yep. And him versus. And it's a little beat him up. But it's got full on kicking and punching and things. Look at that! Very responsive as well, by the way. I'd like to point out this that this little console here is really spot. Oh god, there's two levels to it. I didn't even notice that before. There's a second plane to this. Wow. That's kind of good. But then I've noticed all the games are sort of, um, you know, one or two screens, similar sort of thing, going on round the same thing. And you, But the thing is, they're not too bad at all. Um, there's that one, which I thought was quite an interesting one. Um, it amused me with Dinosaur Wars, because this is just hilarious. But I've also found some of them that are like Watchmen games, you know, they're like the proper old-fashioned Watchmen games. So so there's a few of them around there. So, um, But the dinosaur, when it does this, come on. Look, breathes fire. That's what it does, breathes fire to protect this baby. That's a new one to me. So yeah, you set fire at them and that gets, gets your points. I suggest as they eat the baby you lose some points. But uh, yeah, I just thought... Do you know what? As a series of little little games that are nothing of ex are nothing nothing hugely exciting, but just a little little selection of games. They're not too bad. They're not bad at all, actually. It's um. Now are we going to go Sea Wolf? Can't see this is the right one. Let's do this one. Mm, sea Wolf. Maybe a shoot them up. I think. Yeah. Oh, you drop death charges on them. On the boats. On the, on the sort of things. As I say, there are, what they are very much is a series of Watchmen games that have been created in, with inside this little device. And do you know what? They work really well. And, you know, it's it's a very inexpensive little device. It's quite good fun, you know. Um, I'm quite, I have to admit, I quite like it. Um, I think it's quite good. I mean, I was just looking through the games there again. Um, what have we got? Fruit night. Let's have a fruit night and see what he does. Oh look, it's it's oh I keep pushing the wrong button there to go back. Stage one And what do we do? Chop them, probably as they land. Yeah, that's it. So it's yeah, it's stolen a few things, so that's that's definitely uh, fruit ninja but uh, not with a swipe. But they remind me of Watchmen games more than they remind me of anything else. Um Worth having, worth adding to a collection? Not entirely sure it is, but but it's a bit of fun. Something you can hand over to your kids or something similar, or, or somebody who might remember these kind of games, or the styling of these kind of games. Yeah, it's not too bad. As I say, I don't recognise any of the names, and so far I haven't seen anything on here that, that I would say is, is something that may be licensed, which is fine, because I think they've made a series of their own games based on the Watchmen style that are there, so there's nothing to really complain about. So uh, yeah, the the the, the um, retro pocket games on LCD screen, but from Orb Game Orb Gaming, um, yeah, it's very nice. It's not a bad little console, quite small as well. You can see my hand, it's huge, and my hand in comparison to it. So yeah, teeny little console. Thumbs up, definitely. You get a thumbs up because actually it's not a bad little handheld. Um, you're not going to find you're not going to find any console games that you, you, you. I don't think you're going to find anything you you will remember. Um, I haven't been through everything, but there's variations of all the, the sort of historic games that are out there. But anyway, so um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video.